Oh my goodness, please work. Oh, please work. This is starting. Oh, what up, Fluff Birds? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Furry Games! Hello, I see you all out there. You've been expecting this. We have our amazing lineup of the furries here. If you can't tell, I got a bit, I'm a bit of a fan of one particular player. We've got the new shirts out today. Make sure you go check out Artwork Tee. And make sure you get the fan club t-shirts and root for who you're going for. I am your master of ceremonies, Forks Veritas. Please be aware that I'm also in the game, but I'm not really, so... This is all for fun. It's all fake. I need one second. I haven't... Eh, get this out of my ear. Oh, I can hear now. Oh. Alright, so let's go through our list of tributes. From District 1. Let's zoom in a little bit. From District 1, we have... You know him. You love him, I hope. He is the Red Fox from Down Under. He is Fox Veritas. I think he's going in today with a bit of a, a plan, maybe. I'm not sure. I, I never know what he's doing. It's it's like a whole different person. Alright, and in his partner from District 1 is Corey Karma. The... Uh, what the hell is he? The Border Collie with all the energy. Like, seriously, he's in intense, incredible. Top guy. I certainly hope he goes well. I, I, I don't secretly wish for him to get killed early. I don't, I swear. Alright, next is District 2, where we have President Majira. Oh, the, not my president. Yes, I, I went there. Deal with it. Uh, and his partner in crime today is the Rika. These two are the two fairies with more than 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. They are YouTube Silvers! They're going in the favourites, I think. Well, at least as far as subscribers are concerned. And they should do quite well, unless, you know, you could get a bit of backstabbing, a bit of, you know, the, the top end furry, just, I'm better than you. No, they're, they're both amazing. I love them. I should also mention, guys, this is purely for fun. I have actually not asked any of these guys if they would like to be a part of this. It's just like a bit of a fan fiction, like, fun, but also a chance for me to go... Hey, everyone out there, like, check out these amazing furry YouTubers. Every single one of these guys pretty much has a YouTube channel. So I highly, highly recommend. Check them out. And also, this is all a fun simulation. Do not actually try this at home. Please. Just, no. We're here today for fun. Oh, I need to get this chat out. Sorry. One second. I'll pop out the chat so I can actually see what's going on. Oh, don't want to shrink it. Alright, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'm back, kind of. Okay, there we go, there we go. Uh, it's, it is difficult for me to read chat, but let's keep going. From District 3, we have representing the Booker Fox and the Rainy Chaos. Rainy herself had a bit of a shout out from YouTube itself. Being on the featured page as the, uh, the the featured artist of the day, and it was just amazing. And unfortunately, it, it ended with a bit of just bad stuff, like furries always get. But all the best to Rainy Chaos. Please check her out; she's absolutely amazing. And Booker Fox, please make more videos. I, I want to see more. I love your stuff. It was awesome meeting you at freaking MFF too. All right, let's go back down. So the first three districts. We have a fox representative in all three. I think that's almost all the foxes now, except for maybe fox and more. Anyway, going down District 4, we have the ultimate dynamic duo. The musical, the ever-talented Pepper Coyote and Fox and more. They have a new album out with some new songs. Go check them out. They are absolutely incredible. I, oh, I love their stuff. It's uh, foxesandpeppers.com. Go there. Check them out. Play the music. I would now, but I haven't got permission for that. Alright, moving on to District 5. We've got a bit of the, the, the color palette change here. In the the so red, the so floppy eared, Beagle in red. He is the American Furry. What is he, where is he from? 
Subway to Chicago. Top guy. Absolutely amazing guy. Check out his videos too. He's a lot of fun. And uh, Raytown X. Her videos, uh, a lot of opinion videos. She does a good job. She has what, over 10,000. She has YouTube bronze. All the, a lot of YouTube bronze players here. And yeah, absolutely good stuff. Uh, we, what we need, uh, I want to see. I, I really, really tried to get like a male female per team, but there's not very many female furry YouTubers. Like, I apologize if I haven't found you, but th again, this is just a list of like a lot of my favorite YouTubers. So, moving on now, District Six, we got the the brown palette. The from live from the UK, you know him from playing GTA Five and uh, PUBG. He is Corey Coyote from Damn Dog Games. So check out Damn Dog Games and please stop asking him to say boat. It's hilarious, but he gets so mad. Although it's the it's the internet, so you guys are gonna make him rage anyway. And of course the one and only telephone is here representing District 6. She is uh coming out strong today. I'm not sure what she's gonna do. Hopefully just Hopefully she does well. I I, I love telephone. I, I'd hate to see I'd hate to have the wrath of being the one to take her out. That'd be just terrible. That's so terrible. All right, moving on now. We're halfway through the lineup. District seven, we have our human representative. Although he is the most furry person I've ever met without a fursuit. It is Blue the Dragon, hailing from Sydney, Australia. Uh, he is just, uh, I, I've been watching his stuff for ages and he's just, I, I love the way he does his stuff. His videos are just, just, timing perfect he's funny down to earth and honest speaking from the heart it's all opinions but love him go check him out and of course his partner in crime it seems fitting to have a human friend on his team although not really a team caro the wolf we all know caro he was doing great on youtube and then bam shane dawson comes out and caro and shane caro brings out the secret furry from shane himself and he's, he's now admitted he is a furry. So, on your caro, bring them all out. Get those furries to, sh to reveal themselves to the world. We love you all. Alright. District 8. We have the blue and white team. Featuring Marks Barks and Sky from Sky High Studios. Absolutely amazing suits. Uh, she made her own suit. It's gorgeous. So, check out her. She's got Sky High suits. Also, uh, check it just at Sky High. Wherever you want to look at, and you'll find her stuff. And Mark Sparks, got everyone knows Mark Sparks. N requires no introduction, but there he is. Right there. Check him out. Moving on now, we have the... Uh, they're going to the blue team. Odin Wolf and Stormy. Absolutely adorable suits. They're almost exact opposites. I mean, look at them. Although, do not let Stormy's eyes fool you. He'll come get you. He will get you. I think that's his, his uh, tactic for the day. He uh, is just going to... Well, let's, let's see, let's see. I, I really hope the, the flavor text comes out well. Alright, three more districts. Why do I have another picture of, Storm, of Stormy for Nos Hyena? Why do I have another picture of Stormy for Nos Hyena? Why didn't I check this? We have technical difficulty. Uh, um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, 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 okay, bear with me. Bear with me. I'll just change this very quick. Ah, edit cast. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I just need to change this very quickly. Please bear with me. My li need to get my library. Where's my library? Oh god, where is my library? There. Alright, back down to Nos Hyena. Let's where's Nos's picture? There it is. Alright, there it is. And submit. Alright, we have Nos. Thank God. That could have been bad. Uh, let's get this other things back open. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. We're back. So, District 10, we have Nos Hyena, the former Australian, now turned traitor. Nah, I love him. He's a great guy. These videos are just awesome. I definitely want to work with him again. And Kiwi Fox, we've got a bit of green as a common factor here in this suit. Uh, maybe a bit of purple too, I think. Oh, but Kiwi, I think it's blue. But the pictures, it's hard to find good pictures. So Kiwi Fox and Nos Hyena bringing up District 10. Coming to District 11 now, nearly there, guys. 
We have Cosmic Waffy and Bio Gods. Cosmic Waffy, as you all know, I'm not sure if he's allowed to bring socks into the event today. I'm sure he'll try. At least there'll be socks in the cornucopia for you, Cosmic. And Bio Gods. All his stuff I've seen. He's I, I love when he tried to learn Japanese. That was just absolutely hilarious. Sherbet, shout out to you, buddy. Check out Sherbet as well. Sherbet shenanigans. And ring up District 12. Our last Aussie for awesome Rusty Rex has just recently broken 10,000 subscribers himself to become YouTube Bronze. And Fjord Fox, the legendary host and creator of the Furry YouTube podcast. I haven't done one of those in ages. Ah! Anyway, okay, so here is our team, guys. See if I can get it to fit right. There we go, there is our team of tributes. Don't forget, guys, there can be only one winner, not a team. So you may go for Corey Coyote, who might get killed by his own teammate telephone. It is possible. All right. I have opened the Discord channel for the people to join, but no one seems to have joined. No one loved me. They're probably all at TFF. Shout out to TFF, guys. If you're all there watching, I love you. Oh, I wish I was there. One day, I'll, one day, one year, I'll get there. And if you can come down to Australia, come down. Check out one of our cons. We've got heaps around. We've got Ferdo. We've got Neon Fur. Convergence is on like three weeks or two weeks. HCFC. There's like Fur Out West and West, uh, West Australia Fur Fest. Australia's starting to get up there, guys. Please. Love us. Make us better. We need you. Alright. Are we ready for the reaping, guys? Oh, the reaping's been done. But are we ready for... A little bit of the competition to start? Oh, let's just... Let's just take a moment. Take a moment. Alright. Calm down. We got a bit hyped up. It's time to give our tributes a salute. So I'll ask all of you at home to put up your three fingers. Alright. Please, all honour and a moment of silence for our tributes today. May the odds be ever in their favour. All right, let's get back to the games. Where was my... What am I actually on? That one. I've got to open windows everywhere. I hope you all heard that. I, I really hope the audio came through for that. <laughs> I tried to play this as good as possible, but live streams, as you can see, already, things already happen. All right. I don't know who just messaged me, but it's on Facebook. All right, so let's zoom in. So you can't see too far ahead of the action. Let's go down and proceed. We have a countdown. I know in the movie they count down from 50. So, 50, 49, 48. No, nah, I'm not doing it. Let's go. All right. We have the bloodbath. Okay, my camera's a bit big here, so I'm going to make myself a bit smaller because you don't care about me anymore. Alright, as the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Crap, I didn't get a horn sound effect. Brrrr. Telephone finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Booker Fox runs away like a good fox I should do. Good to see you, Booker. Stay true to your species. Oh, oh, oh. Cory Coyote and Sky fight for a bag. Cory Coyote gives up and retreats. Sky. You are just insane. How do you scare off a Cory Coyote? The big scary blep doggo. But you now have a bag. I hope it's full of good stuff. Stormy runs away. Nos Hyena grabs the backpack, not realizing it's empty. Oh, Nos. My boy, at least you got something to keep your back a bit warmer and you can, like, put store things in it at least. A empty backpack is a good backpack in some cases. Fox of Moor runs away from the cornucopia. Keep it true for the foxes. Cosmic Wuffy runs away from the cornucopia. He's, he didn't go for the socks. I'm disappointed. Why did you go for the socks? It's, oh, anyway. Oh, Fox Veritas runs away. The fox style. Kerry the Wolf runs away from the cornucopia. Mark Sparks finds a bag full of explosives. Do not set them off near me. Or Fox. 
Okay, I'm gonna be the host though. Okay, so we've got uh, Mark Sparks with a pretty good weapon there. Set up the traps. Fjord Fox runs away. Yes, I'm so glad I called the foxes are running. Oh, what's happening here? What is going on here? Bio Gods, Majira Strawberry, and Blue the Dragon work together. Ooh, I see how it is. To get as many supplies as possible. Uh, Rainy Chaos and Kiwi Fox fight for a bag. Kiwi Fox gives up and retreats. The girls are owning out the guys in this one. Wow. You go, girls. All the power to you. Odin Wolf runs away from the cornucopia. Pepper Cody snatches a bottle of alcohol in a rag. Oh my god, Pepper. That's, that sounds like you. <laughs> um, yes. Kari Kama runs away from the cornucopia. Awesome. Oh, we have our first death of the day. Awesome. Rusty Rex kills Rage Hound X for her supplies. Oh, that's a death. That is a death. Ready, guys? All right. First death. Where is the one I'm looking at? I think this is it. No, this one. First death, guys. As uh, all deaths. As for the show, we have a first death. Now I gotta get back to everything. Ah, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I may not. I may just do the kind of shots at at the end of each day. I was gonna try and do something, but it's not. We seem to be going smoothly. All right. So also, Rusty Rex kills Raytown X for her supplies. I'm so sorry, Raytown. Also, Rusty Rex is a vicious, vicious doggo. Uh, he's a wolf. Yes. All right. Now, first death. All respect to you, Raytown X. We love you. Rika finds Beagle in Red hiding in the cornucopia, but Beagle in Red kills her. Beagle! Oh my goodness, Beagle! We've lost one of our favorites today, Enrika. Respect to you, Rika. It's I. I, I hope. Uh, I don't know what to do there. That's that's shocking to me. I I did not see that coming. So, our two murderous, after the, after the bloodbath, our two murderous people are Awesome Rusty Rex and Beagle in Red. I wouldn't pick Beagle to be a murderer, but damn, he is like, hiding in wait to just pounce on whoever came past. I don't think it was, ha I don't think he's happy it was Rika, but hey, only one winner, guys. Only one winner. Alright, let's go to day one. Alright, sliding back on over... Kiwi Fox stalks Rainy Chaos like a good fox. Poor over poor. Cory Karma receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Apparently, Cory Karma was able to please the crowd and get some sponsors. So, Cory now has a weapon. <sighs> and I'm a bit concerned about that. I, I don't, as far as a teammate goes, I don't trust Cory. Fjord Fox sprays his ankle while running away from Stormy, but I don't think that led to a death. I think Stormy just is like, yep, suffer. Suffer, Fjord. Well, we got something going on here. Better zoom out a little bit. Alright. Awesome Rusty Rex, Kara the Wolf, Cosmic Waffy, and Pepper Coyote raid Nos Hyena's camp while he's hunting. Oh my god, Nos. All that hard work gone to waste. That's alright. You'll get him back, Nos. Fox Veritas explores the harina like a curious boy. Fox of Morgus hunting. Cory Coyote receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Uh, okay, we got uh, who had the sponsors up here? Cory Karma and Cory Coyote. Oh my God, the Corys! It is Cory. It is the Cory games. Odin Wolf silently snaps Book of Fox's neck. We have a dead Book of Fox. The first Fox casualty. I think. I'm not sure about Raytown. Booker. All respect to you, boy, my friend. It was a pleasure. I'm so glad I got to meet you in MFF. Sky pushes Mark Sparks off a cliff during a knife fight. That is Sky's... Wait, is that Sky's second kill? No. That's a first kill. But, oh my god, she killed her own teammate! That's the, the blue and white team! See, that's what I mean. There is no, like, only one winner, guys. Only one winner. But Mark's box, it was a pleasure. Thank you for being part of the games. Involuntarily. Blue the Dragon travels to higher ground. Beagle in Red receives a hatchet from unknown sponsor. Someone loves, 
someone loved the kill, and it's like, yep, that's getting his sponsors. People are starting to back the, back the Beagle. Beagle is now a favorite. Telephone tries to spearfish with, with a trident. I can see that. That'd be that'd be adorable. I want to see fan out of that. That'd be just the best. Biogods collects fruit from a tree. He's up. Don't fall down, Biogods. Ooh, Majira Strawberry receives an explosive from unknown sponsor. People are people are sad that Rika has gone, so they they're hoping that you know the District Two bring it back up. Let's give them some money. Let's let's give them all the help they need. So use it well, Majira. Use it well, my friend. Uh, okay, that's the end of day one. Let's let's go through. It is time for our day one. Oh, cool. There are four counter shots in the distance. It is the day one tribute parade. It will full respect for our tributes. Please bear with me while I do this. That was for you, Rage Hound. For Rika. For Booker Fox. And for Mark Sparks. Our day one tributes, ladies and gentlemen. Get everything back open again. All right, so let's have a quick update of the status. A quick status update. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right, we have lost Rika and Booker Fox and a Rage Hound. From District 2, Rika. From District 3, Booker Fox. District 5, a Rage Hound. And District 8, with the backstab by Sky, Mark Sparks. <sighs> okay, let's move on to Night 1. In the furry games. Zoom back in. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Majira Strawberry screams for help. That's going to bring attention to you, Majira. I wouldn't recommend doing that. What do you need help from? Don't. Just try and kill it. Whatever it is. Rusty Rex is unable to start a fire and sleep without warmth. That's okay. You have a, a good fur coat there, buddy. You got this. Cory Cody strangles Telephone with a rope. It's it's gone down, guys. It has gone down. Telephone, the Andrew Dragon we love, the original, the best, is down. Cory Cody, we're coming for you, boy. Nah, that's it. That's it's down. It's Cory Cody is the one to take it down. Moving on, Kero the Wolf and Kiwi Fox run into each other but decide to truce for the night. So that they can share some body warmth and keep them warm for the evening. Biogods and Cosmic Wuffy talk about the tributes still alive. Which I'm sad is no longer Telephone or Booker or Rika. I'm losing a lot of the ones I thought were going to win too. Blue the Dragon starts a fire as he would the Flame Breath. Nos Hyena tries to sing himself to sleep. That would be interesting. Nos can sing. I think. I think. Nos, I want to hear you sing. Do a video. Ready Chaos stays awake all night. Doesn't trust anyone. Doesn't trust the insects. Doesn't trust... The people sneaking up in the night. Oh, we got three people here. What's happening? Fox and Mole, Beagle and Red, and Pepper Cody have created an alliance and sleep in shifts. I love how the pictures have lined up here. <laughs> you know they're planning something, Beagle. Beagle, I'd be careful, boy. Look at their faces. They're planning something. Fox Veritas. Oh, oh, God. Someone joined the chat. Hello. Who's that? Oh, hey, Beagle. Okay, Beagle has muted his mic, but that's all right. We have Beagle and Red. Beagle, can you give, give us an update, if you can hear me, on how you feel about this alliance right here and right now? The Fox are more Pepper Cody, Beagle and Red. How do you feel about that? Nope, we've lost him. Oh, there he is. He's there he is. Beagle, how do you feel about that, boy? Well, I'm hoping they can provide some musical relief. Oh, they, they, they certainly would. They certainly would. But look at look at their faces. They're they're on they're on to something. They're cheeky. Aren't you at TFF? What? Aren't you at TFF? Um, no, but they are. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, well, let's continue on with this. Beagle, if you have any commentary, feel free to jump on in and let us know how you feel. If, if Sure, I'm just listening to this. I can't see the stream, but I'm listening to the Discord like it's a podcast right now. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, do you have any tactics moving ahead? Uh, no, I just joined partway through when my team was already dead, so... <laughs> All right. Well, I wish you all the best in the in the furry games, my friend. Get back out there. Thank. Feel free to join him back whenever. All right. So I have let Sky into my shelter. Sky, I know you've killed your teammate. I'm watching you. I'm watching you closely. Stormy thinks about home. I would too. I I miss home. Fjord Fox climbs a tree to rest. It's safe up there. Safer, at least. Odin Wolf and Corey Karma huddle for warmth. Aww. The blue the blue boys. Alright, we're moving on to day two. The night is over. Alright. Carry the Wolf, Corey Karma, Stormy, and Fox Amore seem to have joined together to hunt for other tributes. Uh, Nos Hyena practices his archery. Do not break the bows. Do not break the arrows on the trees, please. Corey Cody receives fresh food from unknown sponsors. That's, that's two sponsors for Corey. People love you. You must be the huge favorite from the capital. Oh, no. Pepper Coyote bashes Sky's head with a mace. We have the Blep Doggo down. Blep Doggo is down. All respect to you, Sky. Uh, so, that's it. Fox and Mario, Pepper Coyote seem to have just gone out hunting. Uh, Odin Wolf stalks Cosmic Wuffy. Stalk him good. Beagle in red receives medical supplies for unknown sponsor. Beagle, you're still a pretty you're still a favorite, buddy. Yay! Make sure you use them well. Don't over don't over medicate, or else you like lose your like sense of sanity. Maybe. Uh, Kiwi Fox is pricked by thorns while picking berries because the the injury that Kiwi gets is from himself picking a tree. Also, Rusty Rex is pricked by thorns or picking berries. Wow, that's good flavor text. Top one sight. <laughs> Rusty Rex taking injuries as well. Blue the Dragon explores the arena. Fjord Fox makes a wooden spear. You do that. That's in ingenuity. The Fox cleverness. And by our gods discovers a river. Oh, a river. Wow. I'm going to name it Bio River. Fox ver <laughs> I had to do that, didn't I? I discover a river too. I wonder if it's the same river. I'm, I'm going I'm to name mine Forks River. But if it's the same river, I'm sorry, Bio. It's my river now. To Fox things. Rainy Chaos makes a slingshot. All those weapons. Majira Strawberry tries to sleep through the entire day. I can see that, Majira. I can see that. You're a night. You're a night fox. Let's see what you do during the night. Wait, do we have any deaths? This is the end of, end of day two. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right. It's time for the tribute parade in, mem in memoriam. Telephone. Oh, one second. My, my sound's reset. Oh, my God. Please reset. Telephone, District 6. Sky, District 8. Alright, we're back. We're moving on to Night 2. Okay, let's see. Everyone's status. Oh, I can see it there. Alright. We have lost these. The three from night one. Tonight we lost Telephone at Sky. District 8 has been eliminated. District 8 is out. The first district down. We have Awesome Rusty Rex with one kill. Odin Wolf with one kill. Beagle with one kill. You killed Rika Beagle. You killed Rika. Did you know that? Wait, what? You weren't you were here for that. You went in the... In, Rika, Rika died on day one. She was the second person to die, and you killed her. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. See, no remorse. The face. Hold on, I'm going to zoom in on this. Oops. Oh, don't get too far. The face of a cold-blooded killer. Right there. Right there. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to day three. Oh, sorry, night two first. I'm a little bit zoomed out. Oop, there we go. <coughs> night two of the furry games. Fox and more, also Rusty Rex and Corey Karma sleep in shifts. Cosmic Waffy is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Was it? Was he the? Did he fail the first time? Or was that Rusty Rex? I can't remember. Either way, thank you for the the, the furry suit does help. Care of the wolf screams to help. Stop screaming, guys! If you need help, you got to get people who got to come kill you. I have wounds apparently, and I'm uh, itchy nose. I have itchy nose. That's my wound. I'm tending to, tending to my wound. Uh. Ow! All right, I see a beagle face. What'd you do, beagle? Beagle in red begs for Kiwi Fox to kill him. He refuses, keeping Beagle in red alive. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> the, the mercy from Kiwi Fox. What, what, why are you begging for death? Maybe are you injured? Are you going to die soon? You're the favorite. You had like... I, I have the medical supplies. Yeah, I know, right? You have like three sponsors. Like, you're insane. Sponsor me, please. <laughs> Everyone, go sponsor Beagle. And me. Nos Hyena tends to his wounds. Everyone's wounded now. Pepper Cody, Radio Chaos, and Blue Dragon sleep in shifts. Uh, Majira Strawberry and Cory Cody run into each other and decide the truce for the night. I'm sure they did. Uh, Fjord Fox is unable to start a fire and sleep without warmth. Thank God for our first suits. Ooh, a Stormy severely slices by a god to the sword. That could be a death. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait for the cannons to find out, guys. It was too gruesome to show on TV. Our own wolf cooked his food before putting his fire out. Hopefully no one saw that fire. Moving on to day three. The furry games. Cosmic Waffy has a sponsor. And he gets a hatchet. Receives a hatchet. On day three, I think I'd want, you know, water or a, like a machine gun. Not a hatchet. What are you going to do with a hatchet? Cory Carver travels to higher ground. Wow, there's a lot happening in the next one. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can see. Awesome Rusty Rex, Beagle in Red, Odin Wolf, Fox of Moor, and Fox of Moor raid Care of the Wolf's camp while he's hunting. Oh, is that all? All that flavor text, and that's all we got. Although, I care of the Wolf's going to be pissed when he gets home. Stormy injures himself. Doesn't say how, just injures himself. Stormy! Oh, look at it. He's like, there. Oh, 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 Nosalina over here is Forks, Veritas, and Blue the Dragon talking the, talking in the distance. Blue, we got this, boy. We could do this. You and me, and then we, we'll just, we'll fight it out. I think he could take me. I think it'd be a fair, uh, the most fair fight left. Let's do it, yes. See, see that guy over there? That, that guy listening? He thinks he can't, he thinks he can't see us, but we can. Let's kill him. Corey Cody travels to higher ground. Randy Chaos, Kiwi Fox, and Majira Strawberry hunt for other tributes. Short Fox practices archery, and Pepper Cody receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Use them well. Use them well. Oh. Only one death on day three. Time for the tributes parade. In memoriam of the fallen. From Bio Gods, District 11. Bad enough. Let's go on. Uh, there's only one death, so there's no real point dragging that out. Let's move on. I'm not going to see. There's only one more death. I'm going to see the, the, see the update. Alright. Corey Cody and Randy Chaos huddle for warmth. Aww. Ship it. Nos Hyena and Fox and Moor run into each other and decide the truce for the night. Odin Wolf shoots an arrow into Majira Strawberry's head. Majira is down. District 2, the popular, the silver YouTubers are down. They're down. Odin Wolf 
How could you? I guess he's been hunting for that long to do this. A lot of pent up rage and aggression. Majira, for you, buddy. I'm gonna miss the fellow fox out there. President Majira, hashtag not my president is down. Kiwi Fox convinces Fjord Fox not to kill him. Only to kill him instead. That's a that's a big backstab. So F Kiwi Fox convinces Fjord Fox not to kill him. But only, was like, Fjord, Fjord Fox is like, okay, okay, I, I won't do it. You have pleaded your case. Blah! Liar. Kiwi Fox, another fox down. Two foxes in a row. Full respect. Fjord, I'm watching out for you, buddy. Kara the wolf tends to his wounds. Beagle in red loses sight of where he is. That's that makes sense. <laughs> That's totally something I would do, though. It does. It totally does. It's like you, you're too busy chasing your tail. It's like shit. What the hell am I? If Fox you're standing in Rebel Con, everyone's gone. <laughs> Fox Veritas is awoken by nightmares. The nightmares. The other tributes, they scare me. I'm afraid of no man, but those fursuits, they scare me. Pepper Cody sets up camp for the night. Blue the dragon tends to Aussie Rusty, awesome Rusty Rex's wounds. Ah, the uh, Aussie friendship going on. The Aussies backing each other up. Corey Karma tries to treat his, his infection. Corey Karma got infected, maybe. Was he pricked by thorns? No. He might have been. I can't recall. Cosmic Wuffy defeats Stormy in a fight, but spares his life. Look at the, the, the face of forgiveness. He just he can't do it. He can't bring himself to kill that. The, the, uh, so cute Stormy. Just can't do it. We got to day four. Day four of the Hunger Games. This is a long one. It's good. <gasps> oh my god. Bagel? I just got a text message from someone regarding this. Oh yeah? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> someone saw the future. I think they have too, because I see the future. Caro the wolf poisons Beagle in Red's drink. And then you drink it and die. Big lid red. To you, my fellow, my friend. <laughs> he actually drank a drink. <laughs> we have a dead beagle. Beagle. Uh, I can tell you, beagle, it was Kara the wolf. The revenge. It'll happen. Who's gonna kill Kara? Thank you very much for joining us, beagle. It's been an absolute pleasure. I love you to bits. Blue the Dragon catches Corey Carver off guard and kills him. My teammate. My Border Collie. My Aussie. Respect to you, sir. Corey Carver. Dead. After, just after Beagle. At least it wasn't my poison. No, I'm kidding. I, I got, also got to say, guys, this is completely random. I, I, I have no I, I no control over this at all. I can't put in who gets favoritism or anything. It is just 100% random. So I have not modified this in any way. Uh, Corey Cody receives fresh food from unknown sponsor. If you want to later in the chat, I'll put a, a, a link you can use to actually re this again and again and again. So you can do it yourself. Stormy and Nos Hyena threaten double suicide. <laughs> <laughs> it fails and they die. They tried to pull off a Katniss and Peter, but there's still like so many people alive. <coughs> Stormy and Nosaida. Good attempt, but I'm sorry. I cannot let that happen. There's too many people. If there's just, just you two left, it might have worked. But respect to the fallen. Fox and Moore scares Rady, Ka Rady Chaos off. Also, Rusty Rex collects fruit. Fox Veritas hunts for other tributes, and I'm going to get them all, I hope. Remember, guys, Fox Veritas Fan Club, get your shirts now. Ah, ah. Artworktea.com. Check them out. Uh, Kiwi Fox searches for a water source. You need that water, Kiwi. Live. 
Odin Wolf severely slices Cosmic Waffy with a sword. Cosmic Waffy couldn't find any socks and fell on that sword. Cosmic Waffy, respect to the fallen. I hope that noise isn't coming through. Hopefully it's okay. Pepper Cody explores the arena. Okay, we're gonna have a long cannon parade here. Tribute parade. Seven cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Let us proceed with this parade. Majira Strawberry, District 2. Fjord Fox, District 12. Bigel in Red, District 5. Cory Karma, District 1. Stormy, District 9. Nos Hyena, District 10. Cosmic Wuffy, District 11. Alright. Let's have a look at the statuses. Thank you for the donation. Ah, thank you. Reggie247247. Much, much appreciated. I wish I could give like sponsorships and like you know, actually give benefits to people with like donations. That'd be amazing. That'd be like awesome, realistic. All right, let's go have a look at who's left alive. The current statuses. Okay, from District One we have Forks Veritas. Thank God. District Three, Rainy Chaos. District Four, the musical duo are still alive and kicking. And have one kill to their names. District 6. Cory Cory Cody. District 7. Fully alive. Blue the dragon. Care of the wolf. Sharing a kill each. Odin wolf. The master. The legend. The, the brutal. Three kills. From District 9. Kiwi Fox. And awesome Rusty Rex. So we're down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 tributes left. We are more than halfway through this. Okay, proceed. Night four. Awesome Rusty Rex starts a fire. Foxamore stays awake all night. Rainy Chaos, Care of the Wolf, Cory Coyote, and Odin Wolf sleep in shifts. Watch out, guys. That alliance is unstable. Be careful. Pepper Coyote and Kiwi Fox huddle for warmth. Blue the Dragon thinks about winning. Yes, Blue. Do it for the humans. Fox Veritas lose the sight of where he is. Of course I bloody well do. Although my, my visions are fantastic. No deaths on day four. Let's have a look at the night. <gasps> oh. No! It's over. Blue the dragon forces Fox Veritas to kill Kiwi Fox or Fox the Moor. As a fellow fox full of honor and integrity, I refuse to kill a fellow fox. So Blue the Dragon kills me instead. Blue, you're an Aussie. But, Fox, I love you, boy. I love you so much. You mean the world to me. Peace, my friend. Blue, I'm coming for you. And Kiwi Fox, Fox and more. My hopes and dreams are on you guys now. They're on you. I saved, I spared your life. Please. Foxes are going to win this thing. Randy Chaos is picked by thorns while picking berries. Care of the Wolf, also Rusty Rex and Pepper Cody hunt for other tributes. Odin Wolf receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. And Corey Cody dies from hypothermia. How could you, you're in a first suit. Corey. Corey Cody. My boot buddy. Respect for the Fallen. Arena events. Monkey Mutts fill the arena. Randy Chaos uses awesome Rusty Rex as a shield from the Monkey Mutts. <laughs> Does that mean Rusty? Just in case, Rusty Rex, just in case, that's a death. Respect to the Fallen. 
Pepper Coyote uses Caro the Wolf as a shield from the Monkey Mutts. Just in case, Caro, respect to the Fallen. Pepper, that's brutal. Rainy and Pepper, so brutal. Kiwi Fox survives. Yes, do it, Foxy. Blue the Dragon survives. No, you're going down. You killed me. Odin Wolf injures Fox and more and leaves him for the. Good for me. 